No one said getting a pair of Google glasses would be cheap. They're 1500 bucks. But on Tuesday, for one day, anyone in the U.S. willing to plunk down the cash could buy a pair off Google's website. I could tap it and I could play or I could share. Mashable's chief correspondent Lance Ulanoff says the sale comes at a critical moment for Glass, which so far has been available only to a small group of developers and other so-called Glass explorers. So why limit the sale to just one day? It generates some excitement. You know, right now Google Glass is this really esoteric device that people, some people have seen, they've heard about it, they haven't had a chance to touch it, they're starting to misunderstand it. I think that's Google's big concern. Since it was first unveiled to the public in 2012, Glass has also been plagued by concerns about privacy. That prompted the release of its Glass Etiquette Guide earlier this year, complete with rules like ask for permission and don't be creepy or rude, a.k.a. a glass hole. Yulinoff says by broadening the product's user base, even if ever so slightly, Tuesday's sale allows Google to hit the reset button. They really want people in professions and walks of life where maybe they can give the perspective to someone else that can be useful, uh, can actually help other people for training or tell a story. I think that's really what they're looking for. I've run into a lot of people like that who haven't had access to it before. The company is expected to roll out glass to the public later this year. It's already forged relationships with the world's largest eyeglass manufacturer, Luxottica, and the vision insurance provider, VSP. IDC analyst Ramon Lamas says this one-day sale is part of prolonged beta testing, which gives Google the time to understand what the consumer wants. Reaching out to you know, some of the other companies, VSP, Luxottica, to put together you know, a different kind of uh, hardware and different kinds of looks, um, I think Google is taking you know, not a one-size-fits-all, uh, but multiple sizes and multiple uh, styles are going to be suitable for more people. Lamas expects shipments of wearables to reach about 20 million units by the end of this year. He says glass is good for all wearables. I think, if anything, and at the very least, you know, this is going to keep wearables in the common conversation. Okay. Uh, already we have things like Fitbits and Nike Fuel Bands and Jawbone Ups. You got your smartwatches that can go on your other wrist. You can have clip-ons and, and what have you. And this is going to help draw attention to that uh, entire category. But some analysts say while the publicity is good, the high cost of Google Glass might still be prohibitive. They expect the device could go for half its current $1,500 price tag before it hits store shelves.